Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Camel Guys Detail Garage. So today here at the Detail Garage, we have this 2014 SVT Raptor. And as you guys can see, it's caked up in all this nasty grime and mud. So today I'm going to show you guys how to clean this wheel, how to get it protected again. And as well, we're going to go ahead and get into the, the undercarriage. We're going to go ahead and clean it up to avoid any rusting over time. And just so you guys can protect your guys' frame. So to get started, I have my Diablo gel right here. I'm going to go ahead and apply one to two ounces into my bucket just so I could get extra cleaning power with my brushes. In order to activate my Diablo gel, you get your water hose or your garden hose and you go ahead and add pressure to it. So now that it's go ahead and it's already all foamy, you get your, your, uh -oh. you get your uh, water hose and you go ahead and rinse down the, the wheel. After your wheels rinsed off, you go ahead and get to cleaning. So before anything, I'm gonna go ahead and start off cleaning the tire. So I have my orange degreaser right here. I'll go ahead and spray down the tire. And what orange degreaser does, it's agitating all the dirt and grime. You guys can see this runoff right here, this nasty grime. So I'll go ahead and reach into my bucket. I'll get the blue stiffy brush. Spray the brush with more orange degreaser for more cleaning power. And I'll just go ahead and start scrubbing it out. So whenever you want to clean a wheel, you always want to start from the top to bottom. Like that, you're not working double and all the nasty grime is landing on a clean surface. Yes, right now the nasty grime is going to land on the wheel, but I'll go ahead and get to that in a little bit. These tires are bulky and they do have these bigger nubs it's a little bit harder to clean them but with the right tools you'll go ahead and get them clean let me rinse it off a little bit just so i can see my cleaning i'm doing and let me go ahead and spray it down again it's very hard to tell how much product you need per tire. Um, what I recommend, me personally, is just apply as you need. If you need more, just simply apply more, go ahead and scrub it down. Because if whenever you get a clean tire, the adhesion of the tire shine or any protectants you put on a tire is going to bond a lot better and it's going to last a lot longer. If you don't clean your tires thoroughly, it's going to go ahead and not bond us correctly and your tire shine is actually going to look brown. Look at this nasty grime right there. It's very nasty. It's very, very brownish. So let me go ahead and rinse down for my butt, my brush in here. Let me go ahead and rinse it down. We'll give it one more pass just so I could be sure I got everything. Spray it down. Get my brush, dip it in the Diablo gel. Diablo gel is a pH balance formula, so it does work on all sorts of wheels. Anodized, aluminum, powder coated, and it won't affect the finish, especially if you have a protectant on there. It won't strip it off because it's a very gentle cleaner. Look at that. So now that I'm cleaning, it's not brown anymore. It's not as brown as I when I started. When I started cleaning this wheel, this tire, I mean, this tire was super brown, super gunky due to the due to it being at the dunes this past weekend. So now I'm gonna go and get my favorite wheel cleaner, sticky citrus wheel gel. It's a concentrated gel that you go and spray onto the surface of the face of the wheel or even tire, and then it just agitates the dirt and it makes it a lot easier for cleaning. So I'm gonna go ahead and reactivate my suds I have right here in my wheel bucket. Now that it's reactivated, I'm gonna go ahead and get my red rocket brush just so I can clean the barrel of the wheel. You always wanna start off from the top and start cleaning. Red the red rocket brush is, has nylon bristles that are very soft on any type of wheel finish and it fits in any type of tight areas. You can get the back of the wheel, just start scrubbing. 
Dip it. And same thing I said before, add more gel or cleaning power or any type of product you're using as you go. If you need more, feel free to add more. Spray it on there. Dip and just scrub. It also contains this rubber handle right here and this rubber tip just so you could avoid any scratching on the face of the wheel. Now I'm gonna get my, my mini red rocket and I'm actually gonna spray it down just so it could go ahead and get in the back of this area. So one, the areas that the big red rocket didn't fit in. Right there, right there. Now let me go ahead and rinse it down just so I can see where, where I'm at. So I'll keep on spraying the face of the wheel just so I get more cleaning power. Now I'm gonna get my green flag tip brush. These, this brush right here contains flag tips, so it's very super soft and it's not gonna go ahead and harm any face of the wheel. So here at Chemical Guys, we make cleaning easy, fun, and we we're honestly making this video without a lot of cuts just so you guys get to see how it is to clean the face of a wheel or how long it takes to clean a wheel. All right, so I'll go ahead and scrub it down. Start off from the top. And just start scrubbing the face of the wheel. If this plastic piece does hit a face of the wheel, it's not gonna go ahead and scratch. Um, it'll take the impact, but it won't harm the face of the wheel. Sticky Citrus Wheel Gel foams up very nice. That's why it's one of my favorite wheel cleaners. Um, the more lubrication I see, the better in all type of scenarios. And now that I already have foaming action in there, I'll go and get my all of my detail brushes. Just so I'm gonna get, go ahead and clean up the lug nuts. Spray the brush and just agitate. The all in the detail brushes works on everything, emblems, grills, wheels, um, undercarriage parts, um, it works so amazing. The bristles on it is just my favorite. So now that my wheel is all clean, I'll move my bucket, my wheel cleaner as well, and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it down just so I can see what kind of clean I did. There you guys have it. Look at this wheel. It's super clean. The tires degrease. The face of the wheel is super, super clean now. Um, it still has a little bit of suds in there. That's not a problem because we still got to go ahead and clean up the undercarriage. The undercarriage is getting muddy again just because we wet it. Um, so let's get to it. It is kind of messy and grimy. Um, so the reason why we're going to go ahead and clean up everything on the undercarriage is because one key factor that a lot of people miss out is dirt down here, grime, or anything like that lands on the undercarriage could cause rusting. Rusting damages components like your, your suspension, your control arms, your frame, and that's so unacceptable. Um, so before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it down just so I can get all the loose dirt and debris out of there. So just by rinsing it off, you guys can see how much dirt just actually came off. But if I still run my finger through it, you guys can see how nasty it is. Ugh, this can be disgusting. All right, so I'll get my orange degreaser again in my secondary spray bottle. I'm gonna go and spray down everything on the undercarriage. The reason why you always wanna spray everything on the undercarriage before you get cleaning is just because the degreaser by itself, it's cleaning powers that it contains. It's just gonna go and clean up everything and make life a lot easier for you. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dip my, my brush in my wheel bucket, add some foaming action to it, and then I'm gonna use a long handle green flag tip brush, spray some orange or greaser onto it, and I'm gonna go ahead and start scrubbing. Remember, always start from the top to the bottom. Ugh. 
look at all this grime just come off. And everyone loves having a nice clean undercarriage, especially if you guys have a lifted truck. That's the thing that everybody sees when you're turning, when you're driving on the road or even off-roading. Everyone looks at your undercarriage. Look at my brush. Let's go ahead and dip it in here just so we can get, get it all off. At the bottom of my bucket, I do have a dirt trap just so I can release all the dirt and grime. So let me just go ahead and scrub it at the bottom. Come back up. Same exact thing. Add some cleaning power to it. And then let's get back to it. So now that the whole undercarriage is clean, I'm gonna rinse it off a little bit. All right, so rem remember guys, behind the lip of the fender, there's always gonna be dirt and grime stuck on there. So maybe on camera it still looks that it's clean, but it's really not clean because I'm still missing this back part over here. So here comes the all in the detail brushes. Go ahead and spray down my brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it right here. Just so I'll get right in the, in the back of the lip. You guys can see how nasty it just comes off all the way around. The all in the detail brushes is honestly one of the amazing things that Chemical Guys has, plus other chemicals, but just look. Look at all this grime just come right off. Dip my brush in here, scrub it down there, and let me get more cleaning powder. Let me go ahead and rinse it down. So now that the whole undercarriage is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the suspension just so I can make sure all the loose grime and dirt that fell from the undercarriage gets all cleaned up. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use my all in my detailed brushes again, clean, uh, spray my bristles. Now I'm gonna spray down the, the control arm, the suspension, and any other components. Come in here, start scrubbing out the spring, make sure everything's clean. Because remember guys, whenever you clean everything, it lasts longer. You reduce the chance of it, it getting rust or it getting damaged. Let me go ahead and get it all the way in here. Scrub it down. Beautiful suspension that it has. It's light blue. You always want to see, have it see glowing. You don't want it to be dull or all nasty because no one likes something that is nasty. So now I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off again. So now let me go ahead and inspect my work. So still, guys, back here, there's still grime. So let me go ahead and rinse it down again. Let me go ahead and get my all in my detail brushes. And let's scrub again. And one key thing, about cleaning undercarriage back here is don't be scared to get dirty. Also, this truck is lady driven. So she's gonna have a very nice truck as soon as I finish cleaning it. But look at that guys. Look how nasty it comes out. Dip it down there, get it clean with my dirt trap. It comes out clean. 
And let's add more cleaning power to it. Just rinse it down. All right, guys, so there you guys have it. I already went ahead and cleaned up all the easy to reach areas under this fender well right here. Now I got the hard to reach areas, like the front bumper down there, this nasty, nasty undercarriage that's completely thrashed down here. I got three more wheels, three more tires, and three more fender wells. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications or your bell notifications so you guys can know exactly when we release videos, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And remember guys, Stay fresh, keep on detailing, and I'll see you guys next time.